What, Chewie? What, Chewie? Hey, I don't get it. Eh, it's just a dead animal, Chewie. Chewie, wait, wait, don't! Nice work. Great, Chewie. Great. Always thinking with your stomach. You take it easy. Let's just figure out a way to get out of this thing. Han, can you reach my lightsaber? Yeah. Sure. Ah. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. It's a very long drive. Ah. that thing someplace else. Hey. Ah, don't. It'll be all right. Chewy, give him your crossbow. Oh, my head. Oh, my goodness. Ayo, <laughs> Do you understand anything they're saying? Oh, yes, Master Luke. Remember that I am fluent in over six million forms of kim. What are you telling them? Hello, I think. I could be mistaken. They're using a very primitive dialect, but I do believe they think I am some sort of god. Well, why don't you use your divine influence and get us out of this? I beg your pardon, General Solo, but that just wouldn't be proper. Proper. It's against my programming to impersonate a deity. Why you? <laughs> my mistake. It's an old friend of mine. What, what oh. time is it out there? Well, right now it's only about ten in the morning. Oh my God! I should yeah. still be in bed. You probably just got out of bed, right? Aren't you a rock star? You're getting ready to hit the town. Yeah. There's nothing you can't do, my friend. So if a director walks up to you and says, look, Brian, we want to light you on fire. We want you to jump through that window into a moat full of live alligators, <laughs> swim across <laughs> to the other side, watch out for the lions and rescue the princess. You're like, I'm your guy. Yeah, but do you know why I'd do that? Because I'd leave my wife a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's, there's a retirement plan at stake. Yeah, my insurance. But no, with, with films and everything, it's always safe. You know, I've worked with so many stuntmen over my time, and, and it's safe, you know. But, yeah, I would do it. <laughs> you know, um, when I was a kid, and uh, you and I are about the same age, so you must have been young when you worked on Return of the Jedi. There were two of my friends who... I was 20. 20? Well, we're close to the same age. There was... Um, <laughs> there was... Two of my friends played nice. Ewoks. Two of my friends, like Karen Lay and Brian Ornstein, played Ewoks. And they gave me signed pictures of them in the costume. And I was the coolest kid on the planet because I knew someone that was in Star Wars. And yep. now, you know, I'm just Star Wars adjacent. I mean, Wheeler, you're the dude. You were in the movie. And it's one of those things where it's like you're in the third film, the final film, where the message yep. from production to you is probably, hey, we've already done two of these. Just don't fuck it up, Wheeler. Just don't fuck it up because this is the <laughs> third one. 
So you get a chance to make magic, man. And you're sitting here going, I'm getting paid to be in the Star Wars franchise. But do, do you know what was really amazing is that on the listings, we were all named as Ewoks. Yeah. And then I started doing Comic Cons and I brought out some pictures of me and Andy Heard without our hoods on for Jowers. Right. And nobody knew. We weren't named as Jowers in the film. And so I, I proved that it was us as the Jowers. So, so that made it even better. An Ewok and a Jawa? Yeah. That's a double Brilliant. whammy, buddy. And you were able to do the Sherlock Holmes work on that to prove to the world you were, in fact, a Jawa as well. I mean, that's, that's pretty right. iconic. Yeah. I you will bring Captain Solo and the Wookiee to me. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm taking Captain Solo and his friend. You can either profit by this or be destroyed. It's your choice, but I warn you not to underestimate my power. <sighs> Master Luke, you're standing on. <laughs>
I went to cover a Star Wars celebration and had dinner with Jeremy Bullock. We were talking about another project when I was at Warner Brothers. And I saw a bunch of the actors who played Jawas and they were hammered, man. Those guys were living it up. Like that's the table. That's the table I wanted to sit at. They're so tall, some of them. <laughs> they, ki- my, they were kids. They were yeah, kids. Yeah, my kid loved it because my kid's like, "Hey, man, this these guys are they were super fun, you know." Oh, Jawas are more fun than Ewoks. Are they? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, uh, we're, out, we're out to steal things. <laughs> <laughs>